Here we are, your typical cold February day. At least it was for me. Didn't want to get out and fish. It was like a below freezing. It warmed up, to, it's supposed to warm up to like 38, 40 degrees today. Spent most of the day inside, uh, editing some videos, watching basketball. And about 3.30 comes around. Tired of not doing a lot. So let me run down the road to the river to make a few casts. Had no idea what was gonna happen after I got here. You're gonna wanna see this. No way! No way! Uh oh! Don't take off! Oh. Oh my! I hooked him. No way! No way! Oh! I just hooked a musket right off the bank. Can I get it in? I got a 12 pound leader line. Looks like I've hooked him in the mouth. So, uh. Oh my goodness! I don't care if I do get it in, it's crazy. Oh man! That is a monster fish. A monster fish. This is exactly what I was hoping for. This water is way up. I've got to land one. I was hoping they'd be up on the push up. Something, something would be hooked on the bank. I cast it in, didn't see anything. Just pulled up and boom, he was on there. He looks like he's hooked in the mouth, so I should be able to handle him as long as he doesn't get off in the tree. This is insane. 38 degrees outside. The river is so flooded. It's spilling way over the dam. Come down here and catch a muskie. Well, at least I hooked one. I haven't caught him yet. I don't even know how to hold on to this thing. And I'm not getting in the water. And I don't have a net. Oh, it's hooked perfectly in the corner of the mouth. Look at that. Look at that fish. Man, look at the mouth on that thing. Okay, I got a pair of grippers. Let me get my bag out. Uh-oh. Don't take off. Don't take off. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, I gotta land you. I have to land this fish. I don't know if these will work. I don't wanna get my hand bit off. This thing's got some teeth. I wish there was somebody here to video. Oh man, that mouth is scary looking. Oh. Maybe I won't, won't grab him by the mouth, I don't know. Ah, that mouth is scary. Got him, got him. Oh my, look at that. Look at that fish. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't flop, don't flop, don't flop. Goodness, this thing's a monster. Okay, hooks out, fish is out. Oh, my. Look, I can't even get to see it. All right, I'm gonna try to get my camera off. Look at this fish. 
Look at that Incredible. Incredible. Dude, they got some giant teeth. Let's go back in the water. Oh man, I don't know how long he is. Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want him going off my grippers. What a cool musky. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. I have wanted to catch one of those from this river for a while. This is 15 minutes from my house, maybe less than that. I've seen them, I've had them follow. I've got tons of people send me pictures of them catching them. I can never get one. Of all times, I actually got one. Let's take a look at the water, how much water is flowing over and water going through here. And uh, let me show you where I caught it at. I was just walking up here and this right here is a little break out of the current. I tossed right there off the bank. And this is a rod I've actually been wanting to catch some good fish on. Cast King inshore rod, it's a medium heavy with a uh, Valiant Eagle reel. I had 20 pound braid and I had a 12 pound leader. Luckily, cooked that fish right in the mouth. He was, he had been right here hanging off and I know they like to get out of the current. So I probably made five casts and I got one. For me, that's just not a fish I'm gonna get over easy. Like, they're, I, they're in Tennessee. I caught one kind of by accident in a different river. I've had a couple in the lake hit and I know they're here, but actually to land one, get one in. Um, I, hopefully the video turned out, but that's crazy. So I'm gonna go up here and make a few more casts. Maybe there's a couple more pushed up shallow. Um, I got a couple of lures, like a spinnerbait and stuff in this murky water. Dude, it's insane. Dude, look at the water overflowing from all the rain. That's a lot of water coming over the dam. That is pretty wild. And the water is way up, it's super murky. But those fish, they gotta push up, that's the thing. They're not gonna be hanging out right in the middle of that current usually. They're gonna get up out of the bank and, dude, a little, I had a, you know, kind of a quick idea and it, you never know. I've been here dozens of times fishing and then that one time, Well, this is what I caught that fish on, but I'm gonna tie a spinnerbait on it where I can sink it down a little lower and uh, I think it'll be good for this, especially with this murky water. Well, I'm gonna work my way back downstream and I'm just gonna look for calm pockets. Got a spinnerbait on there now. It's pretty cool just seeing this area up here like it is, but I'm gonna, let's go see if we can find another fish. Definitely could be some bass also pushed up in these calm areas. Another one, another one. I got another one. Oh my, on the spinner, on the spinner. He was right in that tree right there. He's a smaller one. Yes, <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my goodness, I think I can handle this. this guy a little bit easier. Oh right. uh, yeah, he's a lot smaller. He gave up a little bit quicker than the last one. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Don't, don't bring me off. I, I gotta get my backpack off real quick so I can handle this fish. so bad ow ow that hurt right 
Oh man, gotta take a break for a second. Oh, dude. Oh, I hate when I do that. Oh man. Look at that fish. He's on there. I'm gonna let him sit there for a second while my knee recovers. Oh, that's painful. Oh. Thought I had him. Now he's flopping around. Twist it up there. Stop twisting. Doing a death roll over here. He still got some pretty big teeth. Some pretty big teeth. What? What? He's a little bit bigger. I mean, he's not bigger, but he's pretty big. That's a pretty big fish. I'm a spinner right there. Let's spin her out. Oh, come on out. What a day. Can you believe this? Two musky the same day. I've uh, I've seen these up here for a couple years now. Really wanted to get one. Big old mouth. Wow. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, oh, that's a cool picture. Oh. Okay. I don't want to get them out of the water long. Good thing it's cold and they're they're cold water fish. This is it. Let's put them back in there. I bet he's uh over 10 pounds. Uh 30 30 something inches long. Woohoo, big old mouth on it. Fishermen, you fish and you hope and you dream and you go out for just one day like this. You just never know when it's gonna happen. Two musky in the same day within 20 minutes, right off the bank, bank fishing. And this is, like I said, this is 15 minutes from my house. Man, what a day, I don't even know what to think. It's happened so fast, it's, it's gonna be hard to believe. I, I, it may be years before I catch another one of these, I don't know. But I know that this random day in February is 30, it was 38 degrees out. Pretty cold day, miserable day. The water's, like I said, super high and muddy and just, just all come together to catch the fish I've been wanting to catch for a while. These monsters of the river here. That's pretty spectacular. I definitely didn't plan for this to be a TWRA promotional video, but this definitely could be. This is exactly um, the kind of things that happen through uh, the government and the state and our, from our tax dollars and from all the fishing licenses and all the fees, boat fees and everything that we, uh, that we give, things like this happen. Um, three years ago, I don't think there was a single muskie in this river. About five or six years ago, they stocked them in the lake. Um, a couple, two or three years ago, they kind of started spilling over. A couple years ago, I th they think people started catching them. Then a year ago, I started seeing a lot of them. And then boom, here I am catching two muskie out of a river that, yeah, like six years ago, there was none in here. Um, muskie are natural, are native to Tennessee, and they're actually native to these waters. But whenever the dams and stuff were put in, of course, that affect a lot of them. And now they're stocking them back in places. And and boom, now I got a place right here and hopefully the population grows in the river. I don't even think it was intended for it to get in the river, but hopefully the population grows and it kind of just keeps on taking off. It's an awesome fish to catch. And um, I've had a couple of parks in the lake that I've hit and I've seen them in the lake. It's just an awesome fish to see, but what a day. Um, just that's this, I, I'm glad I almost didn't put my camera on, uh, almost didn't go fishing, just showed up. And every time you go fishing, you know, you have that hope you think hey i could catch something here this could be a day i catch something and all every fisherman has that in the back of their mind or why else go fishing most of mostly i just came out here to make some casts and just think just what what if something happened didn't know i was going to catch two musky thanks so much for watching i appreciate all the support uh this was an awesome unexpected um video that i planned on going out spending an hour and then going back home turned into one of my best days I've had. Definitely best day of 2022. Thanks for watching.